Burger, and I'm here with another episode of Modded Fallout in New Vegas and Fallout 3. I've got both of them. It's called A Tale of Two Wastelands, and I am here. My character just ate Deputy Beagle, and she's really mad at herself for doing so. She should not have done that. She was supposed to help that guy, not eat him. Things just don't work out all the time. And before I get any further into the role-playing, I am going to tell you what I've been doing off-camera. I've been making my own mods by taking modders' resources and Frankenstein monstering some custom NPCs. So I've got two custom NPCs with me. I've got her. Hey. I only made a minor change to her since the last time you saw her anyways. I gave her a tattoo on her face and lipstick, as you can see here. Uh-huh. Okay. And I also made a bunch of changes to Sunny here, except I just can't get her face to look normal. I had it once. The face doesn't look the same in Gek as it does in the game for some reason. I also added even more tattoos on her. There's one on her cheek here, and then there's one on her neck there. If you would stop turning as I turn, there's one on her neck there as well. So, she's got a whole bunch of tattoos. And then there's my character. My character... Uh, okay, actually, after doing a whole bunch of these guys, I thought, you know what? My character looks pretty sad. I should make her face a little bit happier. That would fit her character better. But, to my dismay, when I went into... um. When I went into... uh, What's it called? Show race menu, I couldn't make her mouth tilt up a bit more to make her happier. This was terrible. Until I realized, oh, I'll just make a custom race for my character and then I'll have that option. So I did. I made a custom race and now I'm going to show you it. Because I also custom... Uh, I'm sorry. I handpicked a bunch of tattoos from a modder's resource. And I now have a specially tattooed character. It's awesome. So I'm going to go down here to the bell race. And then I'm going to pick the right eyes. Customize eye color. Bell's lavender. And then I'm going to go and pick a hairstyle. Okay, that's, that's her hairstyle. And I'm going to pick her hair color. And you'll see here... That this is like a happier version of Belle. She looks a lot happier now. She doesn't look so depressed. Because although she's very concerned about the location of her father, she isn't depressed about it. And done. This is my character. And I have to pick this for some reason. Not sure what mod that's a part of. And then if you look here, uh, I want, I want to find some more light. There we go. Let's go here, TFC1. Show you all the tattoos. So she's got, um, I, I, she should just get naked for this. I once again censored everything, so she's got some pasties and, I guess, I don't know what you'd call it exactly, crotch tape, maybe? I don't know. She's got tape on her crotch. I am not an artist. I cannot make an underwear texture. This is the best I've got. Okay? Everything important is covered. So you got a butterfly here, uh, roses and flowers and vines on the arm, flowers and vines on the leg, flowers and vines on the lower stomach. I don't know exactly what this is, but it came with the template I started with. And then I've got something over here, more flowers and vines on the bottom half of her butt, then uh, vines here, and a rose and flower... Uh, are those lilies, maybe? There? And I do not yet have anything on her face. I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything on her face. We will see. And now let me put on some clothes so she's not naked. Alright. And now my character is going to listen to this recording here. <laughs> this is most unusual. The Powder Gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. Now those tough-looking fellows must be great cons. 
I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. So what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. They're talking about heading south toward Nipton, then west to Novak where they'll meet up with someone. I guess I could track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. It's probably because you were talking that you got spotted. Oh, they're driving. There's some interesting stuff that happens here in this driving. Not right, right, right now though. Wait, where's this driving? Is this a different driving? It's gotta be. This isn't the driving I'm thinking of. game froze up. I'm not sure what's going on here. Yeah. I think this is a uh, different driving than the one I'm thinking of. That's not the one for Old World Blues. Anyways, let's continue on this way. Hope someone attacks me, that'd be fun. But yes, my character last episode, she was saying something along the lines of that she was mad at herself for eating that guy because what if someone else was going to eat him? Uh, she decided that now that that's probably not the case, that, you know, it prob somebody probably wasn't going to eat that guy if she didn't, and she maybe really, really shouldn't have eaten that guy. What's this friendly creature over here? Oh, just a bird. Dry lake. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna wait around until daytime. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, okay, wait one more hour. There we go. <clears throat> Little thirsty, it seems. Mmm, purified water. Yay! I killed a man. Oh, thank God. Ooh, Mark Adventure outfit. I like that outfit. I'm so hungry. I need to fix that. What's up with that? Something wrong with the male texture? Eh, that's weird. Now this is going to be the best damn varmint rifle in the world when I'm done with it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how taking two of something makes a good one. Like, I guess, you know, for some things you could take the healthy parts of one and put them on the healthy parts of another. But I don't imagine that works for most things. As well as, um, what if you have the same broken part on each? And you only have one missing part. Only one thing's broken. What do you do then? Huh? I don't know if the game appreciates too much me... Uh, I'm running around in third person. But I mean, what's the point of having all these tattoos if you're not going to look at yourself wearing them? Huh? 
Huh. At least those uh, big corners is hostile. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, is that up there? There is a certain follower in this direction. Alright. I need to speed things up a bit. Where is where I'm going? Ah, oh, it's really close. Okay, good. If it took any longer, I would have had to uh make a cut, but this is a good amount of time. I like uh, a certain degree of walking in my episodes, but uh, it can be a little bit too much in a certain amount of time. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> what sort of lottery did you win? What lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my God, smell it. I need to get going. Bye. I'm happy for you though, buddy. I'm happy for you. I'm glad, uh... I'm glad for whatever you got going on there. Oh, I want her to wear the same outfit in my character. Hi there. Like. Sticking around good. Until. She looks fine in bright light. <laughs> yeah, it shows off all of her tattoos properly. Like the one on her arm. That was being covered up previously. Okay. Uh, something tells me... These fires aren't from a friendly barbecue. That's what my character's thinking. Hmm... Yeah, I need to fix the male texture, it seems. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here. Especially any NCR troops you run across. Okay. I'll uh, help you out, buddy. Then I bid you, Wale, until we meet again. Glad I could help. Now, uh, are you going to eat that? No. A fair kill. <laughs> Don't look at me. The craving creeps back. You can no longer hold back from your last meal. Yeah. Need to do something about that. How many are still here? Hmm, sorry. I'm gonna have to kill these guys. using her fists again okay she was using her fists 
I'm not going to allow her to do that. That's why she died. Hi there. Sticking around. You were using your fists. She was using her fists. Why? Doesn't she have a weapon? She looked like she was using her fists. Does she need ammo? She doesn't have any ammo. Does she need ammo? Hmm. Hmm. Hi there. Sticking around. Hmm. Yeah, she didn't have a weapon equipped. For some reason. Oop, I hate when I do that. I'm not over equipped. Alright. Was hostile there? No, don't do that. Urgh, I keep wasting bullets. Don't worry. I. I All right. I already went through this. Yeah, if you really gonna stay behind. Who's shooting me? Well, good, I can just eat this guy. Ron Bo. He's got a name? Who the hell is this guy? What's going on? Why is this incredibly guy, st strong guy, showing up? He Why is he so strong? What the hell am I supposed to do about this? Ron Bow. Ron Bow. Who the hell's Ron Bow? I don't know who Ron Bo is. Why is he attacking me, Ron Bo? What is going on? Don't worry. Blah, blah, blah. I'll do as you ask. Is that guy still over here? Well, I'm gonna go spread the word of the Legion. Who the hell was that guy? He was so strong. Or maybe I should just turn down the difficulty. I do only have a varmint rifle. <laughs> yeah. Very easy it might have to be. I don't know who that Rombo is. Or was. I mean, that was weird. There's someone over here I want to go meet. That 
was weird. I've never seen anything quite like that. Hey. Just. Yeah. Uh huh. Huh. That was weird. Okay. I'm in pain. Aid. Uh, purified water. Stimpak. Sarsaparilla. Super hungry. Yeah, let's get some wine to wash down that gecko meat that I probably shouldn't be eating. Alright, I'm back. I crashed. I don't know what to do about this crashing. I'm gonna have to do some extensive testing. I think you did hit him, in fact. Come on! Hmm. Comes the bruiser Come running at me like an idiot or something. And then the specialist. Or now is the also the bruiser. Okay. Everyone's dead here. That's for sure. Oh, I can finally get a bite to eat. Field hand outfit, scotch. Well healed gambler suit. And a fancy gambler suit. Weird. This guy must have robbed someone good. Mmm. Good stuff. Feeding the craving has uh driven it back the thingy. Why do they have so much clothes on them? Raul's hat. Merc charmer troublemaker. Looks like I need to take care of that uh, raider texture, though. That's for sure. Repair with that. Okay. That and that. Let's see how this looks. Well, this is nice. This is a nice outfit. Fancy gambler suit. I think I like this one better. But anyways, I need to be wearing armor right now. Merc adventure outfit. <laughs> I'd like to spread the Legion's word this episode. Get some stuff done. Did you see what was up with that bush? And that rock? Huh. And that scorpion? And that ant? Kind of concerning, really. <laughs> Let's go spread the Legion's word. I'm sure they'll be awfully thankful for that. Dang! It is dangerous out here in the post apocalypse. Who would have thought? Hmm. 
Hmm. Cars, very good, very good. Looks like some cars never made it up the highway. <laughs> That's morbid. All right, almost there. Just need to run up this hill, which I am enjoying running up this hill. This is fun. Hills are fun, in general. I worked really hard on this character. Now, at the beginning of the story, I'm going to have a whole lot of adventuring to do. But later, I want to get into some heavy role-playing once I get to New Vegas. Which is where my character is headed now. Or, you know, she doesn't know that yet. But whatever, that's where, that's where I'm ultimately going. Whatever. Yeah, you know, I probably could just skip past a whole bunch of that stuff and go straight to uh, New Vegas. I'd like to skip over the Novak quest this time. Some quests aren't fun three times. Some quests aren't fun four times. A lot of them are. Not come fly with me. That one is not fun four times. What was I doing here? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Have to talk to this lady. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. Uh, I have news. Depends on the work. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Oh, I've already been. The Legion attacked. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... <sighs> All right, thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. Did you have friends there? In Nipton? Hell no. Town was a shithole, asking to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting. But orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's gone to hell. And all I can do is sit here and watch. I like that outfit. It's a cute outfit. Anyways, that's going to be for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. My character has got a bit of a happy look on her face considering all the stuff she, she just saw. And she's totally okay with that. She had some good... And she's reason she's so happy? She had some really good food today. Uh, you know, her whole life living in the vault, she never got to eat what she wanted. But now she does get to eat what she wants. All the time. It's quite nice. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yes, I am. Until next time. Yes, I am. That's all, folks. That's it for today, everyone. Bye. Yeah, you think I was going to end it different? No, I end it the same always. That's it for today, everyone. Bye.